Elsewhere tonight, a well-known local musician is in the hospital tonight after being shot in the back while he was leaving a concert in Birmingham's Avondale area. Yeah, Birmingham police tell us that someone shot Ronnie Lee Gibson during an attempted robbery. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner joins us live from Avondale. And Lee, that is a very popular night spot. Right, Sherry, absolutely a popular spot for restaurants and bars. We're told by Birmingham police that Gibson was actually leaving the Saturn, which is right here behind me, when he was approached and shot late last night. Now, we have spoken with employees from Saturn. They tell us that they have also spoken with Gibson, that they are sending him the best. They tell us that this neighborhood takes security very, very seriously. They say that they are doing everything that they can to ensure that their customers, feel safe when they are here. Now, as for Gibson, we've been told by friends that he did have to have a tube put inside of his chest, but he is recovering. Like Bo Hicks, he's a friend of Gibson's that traveled all the way from Tuscaloosa to see him. Ronnie's taking this in stride. You know, I've talked to him a couple of times this morning, and like I said, I'm on my way to see him now. It's just been short text messages. But, you know, he, he is you know, cracking jokes and being hard headed really got probably a more pleasant disposition than I would have if something like that befell me. And as you can imagine, Gibson is going to be needing help during his recovery. We're told that he does not have insurance, so several fans and close friends have sprung into action. They've taken to GoFundMe in order to raise money. I just checked. In the past 13 hours, they have already raised well over $20,000 to go towards his medical expenses. He's also, as you mentioned, Jim, a popular musician in the Tuscaloosa and Birmingham areas. There are already benefits that are being planned in order to continue raising money money for his medical funds. For now, we are live in Avondale. Lee Garner, CBS 42 News.